afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Objective Believer Sports Show, and I'm John Mauricio. This afternoon, I have one El Guapo uh, 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 guest here, and he is a professional mixed art artist, right? Mixed martial arts. Yes. Mi mixed martial art, and originally from uh, Miami. Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Now in Chicago. Chicago yes. Why are we here in Chicago? Well, I, I came here because I came here with a wrestling scholarship. I went to school at Northern Illinois University, um, graduated, and then I started my life in Chicago, pretty much stayed here. Well, the economy was, was, wasn't too good in 2006, so Miami was known opportunity, so I stayed here. Well, wait, you're a very good looking guy, <laughs> and you know, you're going to be subjected to a lot of punches and kicks and everything else, <laughs> and that was why did you pick that kind of sport? Well, um, well, I always loved uh, the competition that wrestling has given me. The, the mental preparation, the physical preparation you have to go through. The discipline. Yeah, the, the discipline of it. And uh, when I was done in 2003, um, when I was done in 2003, I, I was, did nothing with my life. I was just, I was joining Corporate America and just started working. And through the years, I gained weight. I was weighing 215 pounds five years ago. My God, uh, look at him now, uh, 145 pounds yes. fighting weight. Yes. What's your BMI now? Oh, I probably have maybe about 3% body fat right now. Oh my God. So, uh, what else, what do you do to prepare for a fight? When is the fight going to be? Well, the fight is going to be June 6th. It's going to be in Valparaiso, Indiana. Um, mm -hmm. So, it's going to be my sixth professional fight right now. I'm 4-1 four and, four and one right now. I'm very excited. It's been about a couple of months that I haven't fought, but I'm really, really excited because the point that I have, we're both very matchable, and it's going it's to be a good fight. And do you know who your opponent's going to be? Or? Yes, his name is Bobby Emmons. Um, he's more of a jiu uh, more of a jiu-jitsu guy, and I'm more of a wrestler. Uh, so it's going to be a good fight because we're both going to have to find a way to how to defeat each other. <laughs> <laughs> so you, what's his style? I, I believe he's more of a jiu-jitsu guy. Jiu-jitsu. Jiu and you are... I'm more of a ground... Wrestling is my background, but more ground and pound is my style. Yeah, but, you know, a lot of times they will announce that they're jiu-jitsu and wrestling, but they're punching hard, kicking hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the beauty of MMA. Uh, you could be good at one thing, but you need to learn the different arts. Uh, you need to learn Muay Thai, boxing, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, because... Like you said, you're going to probably have your opponent standing up, so you're going to have mm -hmm. to learn how to box. Uh, maybe their opponent's going to throw kicks, and you're going to learn how to block. So you have to respect all the styles of, of, mixed, of martial arts because you never know when you need to apply something to your style. So uh, not only you're practicing for the arts, but also practicing discipline. Oh, yes. Oh, you need discipline yourself. There's a lot of discipline. And uh, how did you get started? Well, um... I started five years ago because, again, my story was that I was weighing 215 pounds. I was having an article um, acid reflex, mm -hmm. and the doctor told me that I was overweight. Um, you were? At, yeah. uh, at what point? How many, how many pounds? 215. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't believe the doctor, so um, I didn't even listen to him. But then I kept on taking Tums and these um, pills to take it away every, every two, three, five minutes. So I said, you know, let me just try it out. And I trained for about a week, and I lost five pounds. And I never had an acid reflex ever again. Okay, there is uh, something here that uh, we're not telling you. It's not in the, it's not in the ring, but it's your mom's battle with cancer. Oh yeah, that's another thing there. Yeah, I, and uh, he, she's cured now, or, or uh, she's on remission right now. On in remission. Sure. But you play a key role in her recovery. Can you tell us how did you help her? Well, that's, that, that's, that's another thing that we help each other actually. We, we, she was diagnosed with leukemia two years ago. Uh, right now she's on remission. She's, she's a strong fighter. Um, but what we do to help each other out through the process of when she was going through her uh, uh, chemo and things of that nature, we will get up in the morning and call each other up and get ready to motivate each other to get ready for Kind of like we're training each other. Uh -huh. for, for the fight, you know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for the cage, and she was getting ready for whatever uh, 
chemo or whatever surgery she was going to go to, uh, we would get ready and support each other in that way. She got a bone marrow transplant. Is that from, uh, from you or no, a member of the family? No, a member of the family with one of my uh, aunts. And uh, she, she was, she's a, she, luckily my grandmother had thir 13 kids. <laughs> oh my God. So, <laughs> an ample supply of bone marrow she needed. <laughs> Well, out of the 13, I believe we, we, we found two two candidates, and uh, um, our aunt, um, Carmen, Tia Carmen, she was the best candidate for my mom, so that would be able to... What's her name? Carmen. Carmen is Sarah. Carmen, hi! <laughs> good recovery, Carmen. <laughs> and good luck to you. I hope uh, you will recover fully. Well, that's my that's my aunt. My mom's name is Nuri. She will be here. Yeah, she, actually the doctor gave her permission to come down here for June 3rd, so she'll be here June 3rd. For to the watch fight. you? To watch you fight, yes. Okay, and we would like to invite everybody, Filipino, Asian, or wherever you are, to watch Oliver. Yes. At, well, in Balco, right? Yeah, Valparaiso, Indiana. If you want to buy tickets, you can go, go to my Facebook, Oliver Vasquez. You can, you can see some of my information there. Or you can go to localmmatickets.com. Click on June 6th, click on my name, and, and purchase your tickets there. In a fight like that, how many are any Filipinos in the uh, fighting this? What's well, always, I mean, mixed martial arts have, it's a very uh, cultural environment. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of Filipinos, a lot of Latinos, Europeans, uh, African Americans, there's a lot of fighters. There's a couple of Filipinos that right now they train at my, at my, uh, at my gym as well. In your your four in one record, you you got big. Is that submission or knockout? Uh, I was uh, I was choke choked out. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it, yeah, it was submission. It was my first professional fight. Uh, he had me in a, a guillotine, and oh, in the last second I was out. Out. Yeah. Last. You second. didn't remember anything. No, I, at first I couldn't remember what happened. <laughs> But little by little, everything was coming together, and I realized, I looked at my coach. Once I saw my coach, uh, that's when I knew. He looked at me and was like, and, I, I knew, and now I knew who I was. At the okay, the, the four that you win, who, how, did they, how did you beat them? Oh, by, uh, me, by decision. By decision. By decision, yes. Uh, uh, usually, uh, I'm a, my style of fighting is ground and pound, so I want to take you down and just destroy you. <laughs> come on. <laughs> but you, you, you are, you, come on, you, you don't want to do that to your fellow man. Well, no, no, I, I, I try not to. I don't want to hurt him. But you know, the good thing about MMA as well is that even after the fight, I, even when I go into the, the cage and I walk down the cage, I have much respect for my opponents because I know that all the training that I do and all the, the sacrifices that we take in the hours and hours, we, we train hours and days and weeks for just 15 minutes. I know that the training is very, very hard. Uh, before the fight, how many times a day do you, do you work out? I train three times a day, six days a week. Wow. And your uh, your coach is, uh, what's his name? Um, your coach? Um, well, well, my co uh, my uh, school that I fight for is Midwest Training Center, and my coach is Where's, the, where's the Midwest Training Center? It's in Schaumburg, Illinois. Oh, okay. Schaumburg. Not too far north, right? Yeah, it's about 30, 30 minutes. From but you live near Chicago? I live in Chicago, yeah. Yeah. 30, 30 35, 40, 45 minutes. Where do you live in Chicago? What's I, I live on uh, by the brickyards so on Harlem and, and Oh, you're not too far from here? Not at all. No. Jump in the skip. <laughs> so, a anything else that you would like to do uh, to say to you? Our viewers. Well, you know, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a, a give, give you guys a little background of who I am. I, I am going pro right now. I am pro right now, and uh, I'm excited for this fight. It's going to be an amazing fight. Uh, again, it's June 6th in Valparaiso, Indiana. Uh, I also want to, you know, talk about, you know, just try to help other people as well because I know that we all struggle through a weight situation, and we sometimes feel we can't do it, um, but it's possible. Um, just the commitment and the decision. And the discipline you would have to have to give yourself, uh, anything is possible. Um, and also, you know, I came from Miami, Florida, mm -hmm. um, in a very uh, challenging environment, and I was able to overcome those obstacles. And because of wrestling, and, and because of people that mentored me to get to 
to wrestling to NIU to professional university and now I'm doing professional fighting so I just want to give a lot of people the chance the opportunity to believe that there's still chances out there for you it's yeah. never too old what's your record as an amateur as an amateur I was around I believe it was 13 and 4 I have 4 belts yes yeah. really yes. as an amateur with yes. love well well our director is uh, signaling us uh, anything else but again the the, uh, the fight will be in Valparaiso on June 6th. Six. Six. Yes. At what uh, what gym? Uh, I, uh, it's an expo in Indiana. I don't really know the names. I do apologize for that. But um, but I want to give you a thank you uh, for giving the opportunity to be hey, on you TV know, well. You're always that. welcome. And well, you know, the reason why we invited him is not just because of martial arts. It's his her his mom's fight against leukemia, cancer. And right now she's uh, recovering and hopefully recovered fully, right? Hopefully, yeah. Well, and again, well, this is uh, Joe Mauricio. Thank you for sharing your Sunday with us. And I hope to see you again next week. And mabuhay! <laughs>